Why are you here? What would the viewers do if a woman entered while I was soaking in the hot springs? Boldly peeping, huh? I'll call the police! This is the man's bath at this time! Now, let's go back a bit and see how we ended up in this hot spring resort. My name is Kunihiro Mimasaka. I'm a 26-year-old who just changed jobs. I applied for a sales position when this venture company expanded its business. It's a company that discovers things that are not yet famous in rural areas and sells them online. It's only been a week since I joined the company, but I'm getting tired of studying in the office. Good morning! As usual, I greet her at the office and sit at my desk. Then, the person in the next seat, Miki Komane, spoke to me. She's a fellow member of the new hires in the sales department. Mimasaka-san, Mimasaka-san, it seems that we will be allowed to do new things in sales starting today. Oh, really? Finally! I can say goodbye to staring at web articles and product materials. Shouldn't we reconsider entrusting new work to someone who neglects the basics? Huh? The section chief? She's Shiori Onizuka, our section chief in the sales department. In other words, she's our boss, but she's quite strict. Well, I can understand how you feel, but remember that the basics are important. You two will be responsible for creating web articles and the product list in the future. Don't expect me to keep teaching you forever! Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. We apologize sincerely. However, her way of speaking today is gentler than usual. Normally. What are you thinking, you idiot? Do you, a bottom feeder, have complaints about your boss's instructions? You're going to the punishment room. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to beep, beep, and beep. Ah, uh, scary. There were so many censored words that it became beeps all the way. Ma'am, Kunihiro-san looks like he's thinking something bad. Huh? Mimasaka-kun, you have some nerve. Stop peeping inside my head! Well, joking aside, her guidance is quite strict. Are such normal articles interesting? And do it again! Your wording is verbose. Convey the message simply. Me? She's a demon! Quiet! It's your job to learn from me while you can. So I managed to create the article somehow. Well, it seems okay as a beginner. I guess I need to do some more editing. Uh huh? I worked pretty hard, though. It's work, so no complaints. It can't be helped. We haven't seen the actual thing, and we only had limited information and images to create the article. I say, shrugging my shoulders lightly. Moreover, if we have to check for plagiarism, it's not easy. You don't make such excuses for work. Well, it's true though. You won't truly understand the product until you see it. And at this point, Onizuka-san let out a deep sigh. Um, honestly, I also think it's difficult when we don't know what it's like either. There are craftsmen who just tell us write whatever you want. So you should think that these skills will be necessary in the future. But, well... She pretended to think for a moment and said... Actually, we received a request for an interview from a super minor local manufacturer in the countryside. I'll submit a business trip request for both of you, so let's go together next week. Ma'am, does that mean... Eating delicious food at a local inn with the company's money! Yay! Yay! Business, business trip, trip is, is awesome. awesome! It's for work! We're not going there to have fun! It's a j j joke so, please don't come close to me with that terrifying face! And thus, our business trip to the countryside was decided. Good job today! You too! Onizuka-san was strict today too, huh? Yeah, but although she's usually strict, she's not saying anything wrong. True that. After all, she listens to our requests and takes us on business trips, so she must be kind at heart. I'm looking forward to the business trip! Anyway, a few days passed, and it was the day before the business trip. Huh? A cold? <laughs> Sounds pretty bad. Seems like she has a fever. So, tomorrow, 
Komanaki-san seems difficult. I heard about it. It seems so. Well, we have appointment with the other party, so it looks like the two of us will have to go. Section Chief Onizuka and me? To the countryside? I break out in a slight cold sweat. I wonder if I can handle being alone with her. And the next morning, I prepared for my business trip and overnight stay and headed to the station, where Onizuka-san was already waiting. It's still 30 minutes before the meeting time, but still... She looks like a beautiful painting, and so cool. That's what I thought. People passing by can't help but turn and look at her. Um, sorry to keep you waiting. I called out to her, and her eyelids gently opened. You're quite early. You're way ahead of the meeting time. Well, it's because it's you, Chief. I thought you might come early, so I came early too. I see. Thank you for being considerate. She smiled gently. Strangely, my heart made a louder thump than usual. And together, we made our way to the terminal station where the bullet train passes. Since we gathered 30 minutes early, we still had some time before boarding the bullet train, so we wandered around a bit. It's two hours on the bullet train and about one hour on the local train. When we arrive at our destination, we'll look for the targeted goods. The next day, we'll interview the manufacturer and the retail stores that distribute them. If there's anything that catches your interest, make sure to take notes. That's about it. Well, aside from that... Then we boarded the bullet train and opened the Ekiban. And then... <laughs> yeah! When it comes to travel, we need to have Ekiban... She raised her voice with a level of excitement that didn't seem like the usual her. Huh? Onizuka-san? Did your personality suddenly change? Are you really that fond of Ekiban? I love it! What about it? <laughs> she indulged in the Ekiban packed with fresh seasonal ingredients while gazing out the train window. Th this charm is irresistible! This is the true joy of a train journey. Don't you think so too? No? What? Is that a challenge to me? Are you going against me? I didn't say anything! And seriously, your character, it's completely broken! It seems she was an avid Ekiban lover. It's an unexpected side of her. After that, we were on the train for a long time and finally arrived at our destination in the early afternoon. Ah, I'm really tired. Even though we were sitting on the train the whole time, it's quite tiring. Come on, let's push through a little more until we reach the inn. B but before that... For now, we go in a nearby rundown toy store to research. There it is. But it really stands out in this shop, doesn't it? We quickly found the local goods we were looking for. But these cute goods don't seem to match the appearance of the store. And why did they choose shrine maidens and school swimsuit girl? By the way, after that, we visited several places, but the first door was the only one that had them. Oh, what a nice room! When I arrived at the inn and was shown to my room, I couldn't help but express my admiration. Even though it's for work, it's nice to have this kind of experience. Oh, right, I remember saying we would have a meeting once we arrive at the inn. I put my luggage in the room and immediately headed to Chief Onizuka's room. Chief Onizuka, as instructed, we are here for the meeting, right? Oh, I love the atmosphere of this inn. I love it so much. I really enjoy traveling. I can relax and lounge around. I wonder how many more business trips I can take. Oh, this is true happiness, huh? Suddenly, our eyes met. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll at least give you some time to say your parting words. She's scary. She tends to go crazy on a business trip like this. But these don't really feel like specialty local goods. These are the local goods we bought as samples as requested. We should discuss them for tomorrow, but...
Well, they want to turn them into specialty local goods, I guess. They want to jump on the trend of Moe characters. But they don't have any promotional media, and they haven't sold well. So they want us to write an article on it, huh? We need to think about the wording of the articles after tomorrow's interview. With that, we briefly summarized the rest and ended the meeting. Phew, I'm full. After finishing the meal, I lay down on the tatami mat with a satisfied expression. Just how comfortable would it be if I fell asleep like this? Oh, the hot spring! As if remembering something, I head towards the ant's hot spring. Oh, it feels great! An open air bath is the way to go! It's great to have some me time now! In this hot spring, men and women's sides switch every hour. Well, it's just after the changeover time, so I'll take my time and enjoy it. As I was thinking that, I sensed someone's presence. Could it be another guest? Huh? When I thought there was someone else, it's Mimasaka-kun? Huh? Chief Onizuka? Well, why are you here? For some reason, Shiori Onizuka, wrapped in a bath towel, stood in front of me. You're shamelessly peeping, huh? I... I'll call the police! This is the man's bath at this time! As I pointed that out, her face turned bright red and she ran away. What was that all about? The next morning, we met in the lobby, both of us blushing, remembering yesterday's incident. A anyway, we have a meeting at 9.30, so we should start heading to the client soon. I'll make sure you take responsibility for that. Huh? I feel like you said something really serious just now. She muttered it quietly, so I couldn't hear clearly. Let's pretend I didn't hear it. Today, we have a meeting with the client's company at 9.30 and with the distributor at 1pm. If we leave after that, I think we can be home by 7pm, so let's focus. As we left the inn and walked a bit, she completely transformed her expression and entered work mode. She's really quick at switching gears. Thank you for meeting us today. We started by meeting the client. The president who came out was around the same age as me. I heard that this president voluntarily made those items as part of the town revitalization effort. He tried various sales and advertising methods, but they all failed. As a last ditch effort, he asked her company to interview him. So, why did you choose a shrine maiden girl and a school swimsuit girl? Of course, when it comes to Moe, it's a shrine maiden and a school swimsuit girl. They will become popular. They'll sell like crazy for sure. If they become the official local goods, it will also contribute to the town's revitalization and our company will prosper too. That's the strategy. <sighs> the president passionately spoke while clenching his fist. On the other hand, we were dumbfounded. She doesn't really care about revitalizing the town. I thought so, but I swallowed those words. Anyway, we completed the first interview. Next, we head to the store that sells the goods we just talked about. I never thought he was hoping for them to become official local goods. It's only natural that they won't sell. Amateur ideas don't sell easily without proper promotion. Well, our job is to write a good article on it and make it sell. Yes, I understand. Oh, it's raining. Looking at the sky, raindrops started to fall. Will something like this sell? I don't understand. It's actually not selling either. Well, we headed to the distributor who consigned sales from the manufacturer, but those were their first words. There are some stores that reluctantly carry them, but it's not going well. Oh, will you handle them at your place? It would be great if you could at least sell the stock we have now. We plan to feature them on our company's online store along with the article. So, we easily formed a business partnership with this store for online sales. Huh? Train suspension? When we were about to head to the station to return, the station staff informed us of the train suspension. Originally, we were delayed due to an animal collision, but now this rain, you see? The risk of landslides is starting to emerge. I'm sorry, but I think we won't be able to move until tomorrow. He said that and returned to work. If the train doesn't move, we can't go back. 
so we have to stay at the end for another night. It's just bad luck, but I guess it occasionally happens in rural areas. She said casually. By the way, the reason why we're having a meal in the same room is because... Well, it's unlucky that there are a group of customers and only one double room is available. Yes, you're right. Look, it's pouring rain. Oh, I saw a flash in the distance. About 10 seconds after I said that, the sound of thunder could be heard from a distance. Ah, well, well, since there's nothing else to do, should we go to sleep? You must be tired, right? Uh, yes. Well, if we continue like this, it'll be too nervous, so it might be better that way. I got into bed quickly and looked up at the ceiling. It's still a bit too early to sleep. Ah, oh, it seems like it's not that easy to fall asleep. The sound of thunder gradually approached. The lightning flashed and a thunderous roar echoed a few seconds later. Whoa, that's a huge thunder. Huh? What's this? I feel something strange in my bed. Hey, Kunikun. Huh? Chief? Why are you in my bed? For some reason, the chief, who had burrowed into my bed, was wriggling inside. Um, um, I, I, I'm scared of thunder. As soon as a bright flash and a loud roar occurred, she tightened her grip on my body. I'm gonna burst, I'm gonna burst. I can hear my bones cracking. It's cracking. So, in the end, she became calm once we settled for the arm pillow style. Why did it come to this? Ah, there's another flash! And I find her cute as she clings to my clothes and trembles in fear. <laughs> I can't believe it. To let you see me like this. To take responsibility for me. <laughs> this sound scares me. All right, all right. How should I take responsibility then? I said so without thinking much, but she said, Marry me. Uh, <laughs> Mary? That's fine. Wait, huh? That's right. If I marry you, I won't have to quit. Yes, that's it. Take responsibility and marry me. Wait, wait. What are you saying? I don't understand what you mean by saying that marriage means you don't have to quit. And she starts explaining her situation in a scattered manner. My parents' house is in a pretty rural area, you know? They're annoying me, always telling me to get married. Everyone around there gets married in their early 20s, so they say I'm really late at 27. They told me to bring a marriage partner or go through an arranged marriage. Otherwise, they said they would cut off ties with me. Huh? That's just... your family, right? Well, that's how closed-minded the people there are. But... I usually act tough, right? So getting a boyfriend is difficult for me. So I was about to quit my job and go back to my hometown for an arranged marriage. Huh? I finally realized what's going on. The reason she has always been teaching me strictly. It was because she wanted to entrust me with what comes after she's gone. You don't want to quit the company though, right? Well, of course not. Quitting the company we started with my college friends for something like this? I understand. Saying that, I look at her with determination. But getting married is a bit too hasty. The important thing is to persuade your parents, right? I yeah, that's true, but... Well then, how about being trial lovers? Marriage is a major event in life. It's not something you should rush into easily. <laughs> at least until marriage happens, you won't have to quit the company, right? Th thank you. On this trip, you've only seen my weak points, huh? And so, the final night of our business trip passes by. The next day, when the train starts moving, we start writing the article for this business trip. Instead of just writing the facts, I think it's better to write something like A new local character is born. Shrine maiden and swimsuit girl. Well, I still don't know how to promote them. Hmm, there's something strange about those two. After coming back from the trip, their relationship looks oddly good. 
Some people immediately noticed a change in our relationship before and after the business trip. About a month later, for now, I had to do something about Shiori's parents, so I headed to her hometown. Woohoo! Shiori finally, finally brought her boyfriend! Let's make red rice! So, when is the wedding? How many children are you planning? Come on, get engaged right away! Uh, <laughs> For the time being, it seems that immediate resignation and arranged marriage have been avoided. Well, there was a possibility that they would force us to get married right away. By the way, those local goods ended up being reposted on a major news website by chance. Oh, whoa! Amazing number of views! They're also selling like crazy on our website! It's nice to see that your article sparked a buzz, right? That's why I enjoy this job. Several years later, they really became official local goods, but that's another story. And soon, we really got married. It's partly because we were pressured by those around us, but Shiori was truly gentle and lovely in private. Knowing that she loved traveling, I proposed to her during a trip. Kunihiro, please continue to take care of me. I wonder if they will now tell us to have kids soon. Well, I'll do my best in that regard too. We got married amidst the blessings of everyone.